everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Crime and Punishment. Um, so, um, since last time I've... I'm just now actually previous to recording. I, um, I played a little bit and let a little bit of time go, and I'll just catch you guys up on what I've done. Um, I've installed some additional machines. I have gone through the clear-cutting process and finished everything up here. And um, <laughs> this is actually something that happened a lot more quickly than I thought. Um, all the, the wood, the logs and stuff like that were moved over to here and then processed by um, you know my shop and then and, and sold, which would account for that bank balance. Um, I also did a uh, cell search here and brought in eight more um, high-risk inmates. That is, well, that's, that's quite a bit, but that, that's it. Um, the reason I wanted to do all that off uh, camera without filming is because um, I just wanted things to move along more quickly. So, um, all of that being said, oh, and I also hired some, some more workers because it, it just seemed to be falling behind in everything. Um, so what is going to happen here is I am going to now go to materials and defense and click on it and it's actually going to do something instead of just teasing it with its fancy goodness. all of that perimeter kind of be built. Now, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on having, like, um, see, when I play Mar Minecraft, we call it an arboretum, but I don't think that that's the proper word for it. We're gonna, I'm gonna build, like, a tree farm where I can just constantly plant trees and then have them processed here by the um, by the workshop uh, as a constant source of, of income uh, in addition to making you know, lesson plates and whatnot so um, that'll be something that uh, would be good for us as a, as a person and it's getting made it be getting made quickly I believe making all sorts of fence me or just the like super sped up it doesn't seem not seem as fast as it once was. <laughs> yeah. So these guys are gonna do their thing and build build that. Um I'm not entirely sure how big I'm going to build that like forest that artificial forest thing. Oh cool. Working down here with nothing. Five dead bodies. See, that's that's something we've still got five dead bodies in the infirmary, and I would like to know how to get rid of them because I have tried a couple of things to try to get rid of them. Tried to get doctors and, and workmen to go, you know, I've clicked on them to go to the bodies when there's been a hearse there. I've clicked on the hearse. I've tried to like I don't know, dump the bodies. Um, with the dump the function. None of these things seem to be working. I've tried clicking on the hearse and there's... Whoa! You nearly created more work for yourself there, Mr. Hearse Driver. But yeah, we can't seem to get any any bodies into these hearses anymore, so... That's... That's a little problematic. You better run, visitors. You 
you guys will figure out this fence sooner or later. Maybe not, you're 9 and 3. Oh no. <laughs> and their mother just left them there. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's come back down here. Okay, now they figured it out. Hilarious. Um, I just go. I don't know if necessarily raking the uh, sidewalk is the best course of action to take here, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll trust your knowledge in being a groundskeeper is better than mine in not being a groundskeeper, so. Oh, well, this should be a fairly good day where we're both selling license plates and, uh, and wood. That should be good. How's this going along? Oh, pretty well. Um, and then we can start. I don't know what we should do. You. Search yourself out. Mr. Bolton. We're gonna search your crap. I'd like to get a couple of these in. Here and there. Put that on the contraband. You have apparently found contraband in the form of nothing! <laughs> oh, Tom Denning, you are in so much trouble for having contraband in the form of nothing. <laughs> quite understand, but I was not meant to, so it is all right. Mm. Let's see if we can't get this going a little bit more quickly. I have this... Day in terms of income. Um, there you go, it'll be quicker going. going oh, and we sold $8,000 worth of wood. Very nice, very nice. How close are we to being done this perfect? Oh, we're done! Well, I didn't expect that to have occurred so quickly. Um, let's take this fence. materials here and we will do the demolish walls thing That seems to be fairly well spaced.
and this area um, that the the smaller of the the two areas that the workmen are fencing off uh, why are you so uh, <laughs> will be where we're gonna plant trees and, and that'll be kind of like our, our little tree farm harvesting area thing. There you go, Hurst, you can go. Pardon me, um... Herm. Now what should we put in for the remainder of this? What is that? That's uh, just random stuff that's on the ground. Um I guess there are gonna be a lot of things that we don't necessarily have to build because they're already kind of built. Like, I mean, we don't need two administrative office, you know, two sets of administrative offices. Um, I would dare say that, well, we might have to build more laundry facilities, but a visitation is kind of already taken care of. Um, Yeah, maybe I'll do this. Get rid of that. Do that. Do that. And do that. Mm hmm. will be the places that we have the utilities. Provided, of course, that that's big enough. I think it will probably be. Well, let's see. Anyway, um, been a little overly ambitious in retrospect. <laughs> Oh 
Oh, you can just do that. Awesome sauce. This is going to work out. This is kind of experimental. Uh, it might be a really expensive experiment that may not work out in the end, but who knows, we'll see, right? <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see the delivery section. <laughs> I have a big delivery section. <laughs> Hilarious. Alright, and then we'll do like... Uh, I guess... Staff door there, a staff door there, and a staff door there. <laughs> There we go. Well, that should be interesting. And maybe we'll take forever. Oh, can only the gardener do that? Oh no! Oh no, this may take forever. Oh, and they take time to grow. Oh, no! You know what? Actually, I think that... I'm pretty sure that I... Ooh. I'm pretty sure that I knew that. I just didn't remember that. Interesting. Everything seems to be going okay in the prison. Or, you know, too many fights or anything like that. You know, I, let's see. Okay, eight prisoners. We can do. We can handle eight prisoners. Last time I had set the. Uh, I had set it for, for people to come in. They were, they wanted to give me like 23. And that was too many. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it f here for right now. Um, if you like this episode or you just want to support the series, uh, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you may want to do, that button is down there as well. Um, if you have any positive or negative feedback, which is something that I always enjoy, um, especially with this series, because I am a derp and you guys always have really, really helpful advice and, um, you know, good suggestions feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Um, if you want to join me on Facebook or on Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description down below, and it'll bring you right to where you need to go. But I've been Mike, you have been you, this has been Crime and Punishment, uh, Prison Architect Alpha 16, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.